Milking is one of my most favorite parts about homesteading and owning goats. But there are a few things that can ruin this special time. An unruly goat that just won't stand still when they're being milked. Spilled milk. <laughs> and I'm milking. Don't let your goats become wild, feral animals. <sighs> And birds who have decided that your milking barn is the perfect place to spend the winter. The first two problems are ones that I feel that are under my control. I can work with the goat and be patient and help them become the best milking goat ever. Huh. You're a good milker, but you didn't start out so good, did ya? You had a pretty rough start. But now, you're one of my favorites. Don't tell the others. And generally, if I'm paying attention, I can avoid the spilled milk catastrophes. But the birds. The birds were a problem. All winter long, they were roosting on everything and pooping everywhere. It was really getting a little out of hand. But what could I do? What could I do to keep them out of here for good? This last year has made plexiglass a new norm to see everywhere we go, but it's also really expensive too. It was actually what I had set my mind on. It was what I was going to have in my goat barn. And then we went to price it and it was immediately out of the question. So I kept brainstorming. Getting a goat barn cat was actually mentioned as a suggestion in one of my videos, but little kitten season hasn't arrived yet. And I really didn't want to bring, want to bring home a new kitten or a new cat home in the middle of winter when it was so cold. I would rather wait until it's a little bit warmer to get them and everyone settled into their new home. That may be something that we'll have to think about this summer though. I could have used just plywood to make a fully enclosed milking area in my goat barn, but I really wanted the light to be able to come through so that it wasn't so dark in here, and I wanted to be able to look through and be able to see my goats on the other side of this partition while I'm milking or while I'm in the goat barn. So I crossed that idea off of the list. So I actually just didn't do anything for a while and I just became increasingly frustrated with the little chickadees that just wanted to get out of the wind. I've never before had a problem with birds in my goat barn and this winter has actually been fairly mild. We did have a couple weeks in February where it got down to a negative 57 degree Fahrenheit wind chill, but after that it settled into the normal winter and then that spring and winter dance that teases us for several months before summer officially settles in. As I was helping Faith with her labor and delivery, I was watching her paw and all that dust was just lifting up into the air and I was picturing it settling down on my very nice milking stand and just giving everything a nice good layer of barn dust. I had to figure out what to do, but what was the solution that wouldn't break the bank? Goat snuggles. Goat snuggles. <laughs> So I started searching for clear plastic stuff and I finally found the perfect solution. It was a very clear, very see-through and a very, very large table cover that would work perfectly. And it finally arrived and it was time to put it up. But before I started my project, I had to get to the post off to mail off my goat binders. We gotta go. Mail the go binders, and then get a stable gun. Bye.
but once I was done, I could get to work. You'd be amazed at how hard it is to do some things being so short. Sometimes you just have to enlist some help. How do we make this straight into the biggest? I'm straight on the back. That's your problem, the point of getting it straight. <sighs> Put some in. I'd leave this alone and then get yourself some of those laugh pieces. Although this tablecloth is pretty strong, it was still having some troubles with the staples wanting to pull through. I had to figure out a better plan. I needed some, some lath-like strips to put down to help hold it into place. But of course I found what I needed, which just proves why I keep things around. You just never know when you'll need little strips of wood from the old snow fence that was taken down years ago. I just need a better way of storing everything. The little birds that were in here kept knocking them down as well, so I can get them officially stapled up. So there you have it, my $18 solution to my chickadee problem. I actually do have a bit more to work on in this doorway area here, but I'm going to save that project for a couple weeks from now when it's not so biting cold. My fingers just get freezing cold in these temperatures that are in the 20s. Let's warm up a bit, huh? Look at this crazy weather. Oh. It was also important for us to get a new baby monitor. My old one was like 13 years old and it was mostly static. Which made it hard to hear, but it was still working a bit. But we decided to upgrade and this new one has an actual video that goes with it, which is really awesome because we can spy on the goats in the goat barn. We did use the last monitor, my old one, when Faith delivered just a week or so ago. And it worked. It did the job. We were able to hear when she was pushing. And we got ourselves out, out here to witness that miracle, that miracle of birth and new life but it was time to upgrade and this is what we got. The only issue I have with this one is that the volume isn't as loud as I thought it would be. You know, in a way that, that was what I thought the point of the baby monitors was, was to be able to capture sound well and make it loud enough for you to be able to hear. But if we get too far away, it really isn't very loud, which is sad. But when we see that delight is, is in the stage of labor and getting ready we will actually probably just carry that around with us throughout the day and pay a little bit more closely attention and have the have it right with us so that we can hear what's going on a little bit better the goats seem to think that this upgrade is quite nice they are really appreciating the the luxury that my milking barn is affording them I'm, I'm sure of it And these cute kids are almost too much to bear. Can you join them? In the next couple of days, there'll be a couple more cute kids to add to the mix that they'll all be able to play with. And hopefully we'll get some nicer weather so all the kids can go outside and enjoy everything just a bit more.
It's time for no coats and no shoes, right? It's got to be time. Another day, another project heading towards completion. It's, it's that time of year, project after project, working to put ourselves in a, in a better position than we were the year before. It's a great life of, of never being done with the work and always having something to do and a project to complete. It's it's exhausting and exhilarating, overwhelming and and overflowing, daunting and, and delightful. And I'm so glad you're along for the ride.